Hello everyone and welcome to the class of 5G core network. So, in standalone deployment, the 5G system is composed of user equipment, 5G access network which is known as new radio and 5G core or 5G CN, 5G core network. The 5G core architecture definition is it used the service based architecture framework, SBA. Here in service based architecture, here architecture elements are defined in terms of network functions rather than traditional network entities. So it op offers modularity and uh, reusability. Now these network functions are connected with the help of interfaces of a common framework and any network function offered its services to all other authorized network functions and then to the consumers so like these are all the network functions and interfaces between them we can see ue this is 5g system architecture ue this is new radio or radio access network it is connected to upf which is for data user plane function and this is the data network external data network we can say an n3 point of reference between these two and n6 similarly n1 n2 and n4 connected to the various network functions UPF as user plane function, this is responsible for handling the user data. We have application functions, these are like application function. These, uh, this is responsible for handling various applications. DN as an external data network and another network functions, all of these are another network function, they are responsible or they are a part of a control plane. NSS, NEF, NRF, we have covered these in our classes. This is responsible for policies, authentication, access and mobility, session management, and repository and exposure functions. So it contains UE, RAN, user plane function, application data network, and other network functions. Now support of virtualized deployments. In SBA approach, it enables virtualized deployment. An NF instance can be deployed, we can deploy these as fully distributed, fully redundant, stateless and fully scalable. Several network function instances can be present within the same network function set. Conversely, the services can be provided from the several locations. For example, we have first as UDR. This here. It has repository UDR when UDR services are invoked for example like we have to follow a user equipment service request and a periodic service request uh, request this virtualization it enables root it can route the UE messages to any unified data repository within the set of all the UDRs available so this provide resiliency any specific instance of UDR can be used. It can be turned off for a plan maintenance or there can be auto recovery of these without any service disruption. Now for an entire network we have like NRF, you can see NRF, this. NRF, this is network repository function. It provides support for network function management in uh, like it is responsible for registration, deregistration, authorization and discovery. Exposure function, it provides external exposure of the capabilities. It can be categorized as monitoring capability, provisioning capability, application influence of traffic routing, policy and charging capabilities. UDM 5G core supports data storage architecture for compute and storage, compute and storage separation. UDR it is a master database and UDSF which is unstructured data storage function, it is introduced to store the dynamic state information or data. EMF, access and mobility, it is in charge of signaling which is not specific to user data. It is responsible for mobility and security etc. The access and mobility function supports UE with different mobility management needs. Whenever required, mobility can be hidden from the application layer to provide interruption in service delivery. SMF, this is in charge of signaling which is related to user data traffic, for example, session management etc. 
Now, SMF together with the AMF, it can support customized mobility management like MICO. MICO is mobile initiated connection only. This is responsible for radio access network enhancements like we have RRC inactive states. Thank you so much.